Hello and welcome to VectorVest. My name is Kathy O'Nan. I'm the Manager of Internal Training and it's my pleasure to bring you this exciting presentation this week called The Birthday Game. I just had a birthday and we all love to celebrate our special day. With VectorVest Travels, we'll often ask guests in the audience if they'd like to play the birthday game. We ask them their month and date of birth and going back at least one year we would choose the top VST vector stocks and quick test them for results. Amazingly, more often than not, those quick tests showed positive results. A lot of the skeptics would say, you must have the system rigged. And our answer was, of course we do. We rig the system by giving high VST ratings to stocks that have the best combination of value, safety, and timing. These stocks have real earnings, acceptable financial performance, and are going up in price. So yes, the system is rigged to bring the best stocks to the top. We use the birthday game to illustrate the power and the efficacy of the VectorVest system of stock analysis. Our VST vector score is the master indicator for ranking every stock in the VectorVest database. It's on the scale of 0 to 2. VST is computed from the square root of a weighted sum of the squares of relative value, relative safety, and relative timing. Stocks with the highest VST ratings have the best combination of value, safety, and timing. These are the stocks to own for above average long-term capital appreciation. The definition for our indicators can be found within the VectorVest program. Let's take a look. By simply right-clicking on the stock, choose View Full Stock Analysis Report. This gives you a summary of the stock that you have chosen, and below you have the definitions of all of our VectorVest indicators. I'll scroll us down to the VST, and here's your definition. For further information on the VectorVest system, I'll close this report. I'll move us over to the Welcome tab. We have a great addition on the Welcome tab. If you scroll to the bottom, click here for help getting started. We have Stock Strategies and Common Sense, a book written by our founder and chairman, Dr. Bart Delito. You can download the book from this link. It's a great book to read to understand the VectorVest system. This is an older report, but I think it's worthy of mentioning. This was from March of 2002. Frank Yang from the Graduate School of Business at the University of Chicago, he did a market return project report. In the abstract, in this project, I investigate the performance of VST ranking system by examining a variety of VST portfolio returns. The results support the hypothesis that the VST ranking system has the ability to pick stocks with higher and more persistent returns. The accumulated returns on portfolio with high VST value are one to four times more than return on S&P 500 index over the same sample period, while the relative volatility of VST portfolio is well below S&P 500s. Our director of research, Todd Schaefer, used our simulator and variator to run the results going back 20 years for the birthday game. He ran 4,926 runs and out of those 4,137 were winning runs. That's 83.98%. Of those trades of 98,520, 56,332 were winning trades. That's 57% average. On the average gain, 118.29%, and that's an annualized rate of return on average of 9.38%. With this information, we're very comfortable playing the birthday game. How to play the birthday game? Let's go over the rules. And I'll walk you through these steps. We'll look at a couple of examples so that you're comfortable on playing the birthday game. We'll first go to the stock viewer and open the calendar. We'll select the month and date of birth from at least one year ago. Now we're late into the year, so most of you can go back to 2000 and 
14. If you have a later birthday in December, you'll need to go back that additional year. If your birthday happens to fall on a holiday or a weekend, we'll use the next business day. We'll take the top 20 stocks ranked by our VST vector, bringing the best stocks with a combination of value, safety, and timing to the top, and we'll quick test those results to the current day. We'll repeat the process going back two years. We'll quick test to current. We'll do the same step again going back an additional year and quick test. So you'll have three runs, three quick tests from your birth date, your month and date, up to current. So let's take a look and we'll start with my birthday. We'll move to the viewers tab. Our first step is to change our date. Choose the calendar by opening the date just above the list of stocks. Notice on my local toolbar as well, I'm returning the top 20 stocks. From your drop down arrow, you can select that number. Open your calendar going back at least one year from your birth date. I'll go back to November of 2014. So I've chosen November the 24th, my birthday, of at least one year ago. Click OK. We've gone back in time. Had you opened the stock viewer on November the 24th, 2014, these stocks would be listed ranked by VST. So we'll come across the local toolbar and choose Quick Test. From the drop down, you can choose Quick Test All if you're returning 20, or choose your selection number to the top 20. My Quick Test is now run from November the 24th, 2014 to December the 10th, 2015 at the close of business. I have my stocks listed and their begin in price, the percent change, and the annualized rate of return. The number that we will be looking for is the average line. Our average return on the top 20 stocks in the database since November the 24th, 2014, we're up 1.57% as compared to the VectorVest composite, which was down 5.02%. So this basket of stocks did make money. I'll close this quick test. Now I will go back and test one year prior. So we'll change our date from 11-24-2014, or your date of birth. Click on the year. Use your left arrow to take you back to the previous year, November the 24th happens to fall on a Sunday. I'll choose the next business day, the 25th. Click OK. Our data refreshes. Again, we're seeing the stock viewer as we would have on November the 25th, 2013. Coming across the local toolbar, I'll choose the Quick Test Top 20. It's remembered the number I tested on my prior run, and it's taking me to current. Out of these 20, I had 11 winners, 9 losers. Here's my average line. I'm up 20.57% as compared to the VectorVest composite, up 1.49%. I have my second winning run. I'll close this quick test. Let's go back one additional year, changing from 2013 to 2012, November 24th is on a Saturday, so we'll choose the 26th, the Monday afterward. Choose OK. Viewing the stock viewer again as of that day, I'll come across the local toolbar, quick test again. I have my third winning run. I'm up 28.81%. I had 13 winners and 7 losers. I had three winning runs. The good news, I made money on all of those stocks. The bad news, I didn't win the birthday game. We need to show at least one run that doesn't produce a positive return to win the prize. One other feature on the local toolbar, we have our top 20 stocks. Quick test tests from point A to point B. So what does it not tell us? 
It doesn't tell us how smooth the ride was. It just shows the beginning price compared to the ending price. You do have an easy way to see how smooth the ride was by using the toolbar coming across to the right. You'll see Quickfolio. Quickfolio builds a portfolio of those top stocks. From your drop down arrow, you can Quickfolio all if you've chosen the top 20 or ratchet your number up and down using the arrows and choose top 20. Now I give the portfolio a name. I'll call it birthday 2012. Choose your initial investment. I'm choosing $100,000. I can choose commission type or if I just want to see raw performance data I can choose none. I'm not using margin or interest, and I am purchasing these stocks long. Choose OK, and just with a click of a mouse, I now have a portfolio that I can open. The system took those 20 stocks. It dollar weighted the number of shares that I needed to purchase. Notice we have a column quantity, so I own fewer shares of the higher price stocks and more shares of the lower price stocks. Notice my cost basis is very close to $5,000 on each of my purchases. Above we have the graph of the equity curve of this portfolio and I have my returns sorted by ROI bringing my best performer to the top. For my next example we'll use July the 1st. I'll just choose a random date. Going to my calendar window, I have to go back at least one year, so I'm going back 2014, July the 1st. I'll select my day, click OK. Coming across the local toolbar, I'll quick test the top 20. I have on average a gain of 3.58%. This is the bottom line just above the Vector of S composite, which was down 6.19. Closing the quick test. Choose my calendar. We'll go back one additional year. Using my left arrow advances me one year. July the 1st. OK. Refresh my data. Local toolbar will quick test the top 20. Nice run, up 27.91%. The market was up 12.24, so well outperformed the market. And finally, the one additional year, choose on 2013, advance back one year, July. The first is on a Sunday, so I'll choose Monday the second. Choose OK, refresh my data, and again coming across my local toolbar. Quick test, the top 20. Wow, I'm up 71.25%. The market was up 29% since that time. The good news, I made money. The bad news, I did not win the birthday game. I'll close the quick test, and we'll go back to our PowerPoint for our submission rules. Once you've completed your three runs, if you have a run that did not make money, then you win a one month extension of your VectorVest base subscription. Again, that's all it takes. One losing run and you win the birthday game. For your submission, you must email these to the birthday game at VectorVest.com. They cannot be called in. The reason we need for you to attach proof of your date of birth. We need the month and the date. With the proof that you attach to this submission, you may cover or hide any of other personal information that you do not wish to share with us. Our deadline, you must submit your entries by December the 31st, 2015. I'll be reviewing these submissions I will do the quick test to verify and email you of the extension of your subscription. Happy birthday to everyone, and I hope you enjoy playing the birthday game. I look forward to hearing from you.